We've got a new Sonic leak, boys! This is Sonic Toys Party, a new Fall Guys style Sonic Party game currently announced as exclusive to mobile phones, but thankfully not Apple Store exclusive like Sonic Dream Team. You'll supposedly be able to play this on any smartphone, so that's nice. Here's the official Japanese trailer on screen now. You like how similar that logo looks to the Toy Story logo? I wouldn't be surprised if this was also ported to console and PC if it performs well, which I'm not so sure that it will. I mean, realistically, it'll probably do fine. It is a mobile phone game, and those seem to do fantastically well for some reason. But I just feel like they're a couple years too late to cash in on the hype from Fall Guys. Maybe not. Well, I guess we'll find out. After the title screen, you're treated to a plethora of options on screen and several icons, one of which has a chow on it. In the bottom right, they have a variety of different modes you can choose between. And in the bottom left, it looks like there's some different battle pass type microtransaction options where you can, of course, obtain different cosmetics and extras as you progress. I'm really hoping for more chow related Sonic game features in future games, but currently we don't really know to what extent they'll be involved in this game. It looks like at least some of the playable characters are Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Amy, Shadow, Metal Sonic, Rouge, and Eggman. I imagine we'll get more playable characters in the future as the game continues to receive support like Sonic Runners or Sonic Forces Mobile. I also wouldn't be surprised if we got playable Angry Birds in this game or whatever. Sonic is of course still voiced by Roger Craig Smith in this game, even in the Japanese trailer, which seems kind of odd. I'm not super sold on this game so far, if you couldn't tell. Mobile games don't exactly have the best track record in my opinion, but I did sort of like Fall Guys for a while. The main thing I didn't like about Fall Guys was how much downtime there was in between minigames, so if they can figure out a way to bypass all of that downtime in Sonic Toys Party, I'll be happy. The gameplay already looks a lot faster than Fall Guys, so that's a plus. You've got the series staples like the homing attack, and you can unlock the boost when you collect a certain amount of rings. There's also a variety of different game modes, again, similar to Fall Guys. It'll be interesting to see how much support this game receives after launch. I imagine it'll be mostly cosmetic stuff, so I'm not getting my hopes up too high, but we'll see. The stages we've gotten to see so far are a green hill zone level, a chemical plant level, a treetops almost mystic ruins style looking level, a lava level, and a wave ocean level. So already about as much variety as Sonic Frontier's cyberspace levels. But what do you think? Are you excited for the new Sonic mobile game? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching!